Sagittarius, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for December 20th through the 26th. And I'll take a look at your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Sagi, what's up? The overall energy for the reading, the tower. It is a tower, this whole reading, the way it looks. Um, shaky, very shaky grounds here. Very not looking good. At first sight, when we clarify, things are going to start, you know, shaping up a little bit different. So in the recent past, the five of wands, the four of cups, the page of swords, lots of conflict, lots of not being on the same page. And that actually kind of made you distant. Uh, from a situation, it, it was very disappointing, very, uh, this is not working out, I don't like it. But stepping back. Now, in the current situation, the Strength card, the Five of Pentacles, the Death card, definitely something coming to an end. Um, in the past, you were stepping back from something, now you're kind of ending it. You're like, okay, that that's it. Uh, it's not feeling pleasant, but it's here. Um, in the immediate future, the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the King of Pentacles. <clears throat> you're trying to grow. You're trying to put a lot of effort into the material world. But whatever pain you're experiencing from this, I feel like it's kind of standing in the way of your growth here. At least that's the way it's coming in. Like, like I have to deal with this issue, but at the same time, I really, really want to focus on this. But I can't fully focus on this because this takes a lot out of me. Um, let's clarify. Let's see the tower. <clears throat> the Nine of Wands, the Hangman, the Knight of Wands. You were trying to postpone this ending for quite some time. You were just kind of taking a step back, letting it unfold, not liking it, but staying in it. So that was just you kind of trying to delay the um, unavoidable here, you know? Let's do, let's do the five of wands there in the recent past. <clears throat> Four of cups, eight of cups, six of swords. At some point, there was a peak in these arguments, misunderstandings, whatever this was, because it's a lot of conflict. And there was a point in there that you were already out. You checked out a long time before you started to actually um, physically maybe take a step back and now dealing with the ending of it. You checked out here for quite some time. You've been checked out. <clears throat> Let's do... Um, So the Four of Cups, since it showed up again. <coughs> Ouch. I hate when I sneeze like that. Um, the Judgment card, the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Cups. You learned a lot. Like, I feel like why you stayed here, it wasn't for nothing. Um, it looks like it was for nothing. And, you know, like in the bigger picture, you look back and you may be like, why the hell didn't I see this earlier? I knew something was off and I knew I was out and I didn't do anything about it. And you needed to be there because you learned a lot here during this process of just kind of sitting in um, the, the discontent of this. Uh, that actually taught you what it is that you want or what it is that you don't want versus what it is that you do want. And it wasn't that, it wasn't that. I feel like it took a while for you to realize that, no, mm -mm, this isn't it. Then what is it? The opposite of this. And I feel like you, um, again, you needed to be there.
to figure this one out for you. <clears throat> So the strength card in the current situation, the three of swords, the two of swords, the fool. Uh, it's a little, it's painful. It's painful, this process, because I feel like finally it's happening. Finally, it's there where things are ripped apart in this situation. And it's painful and it's creating a lot of thoughts, a lot of stress, a lot of things, because there's underneath it all there's a sense of you wanting your freedom out of this wanting to get the hell out of dodge already and be done with this uh that's just your anticipation to the process of this and it's not keeping you in the process so the more you do that the more you don't stay in the process the longer it's gonna get um let's do the death card <clears throat> Yeah, there's an anxiousness to this like I want uh, okay I get it now we're done here but can it be over in like five minutes no realistically speaking no it will be over at some point if you allow it to be over but not in five minutes the chariot the eight of swords the tempers card that's what's keeping you up in your head about it and stuck and feeling like you're stuck in this process and again, it's extending the process and the pain and the thoughts and the insecurities and all sorts of things. Another lesson to be learned here. So it's going to happen in whichever time frame it wants to happen. Just like, again, looking at the past and being like, I could have been out of there earlier. You probably could have, but you wouldn't have learned a valuable lesson from it. The same here. Um, <clears throat> Stay in it, allow it to happen, and, you know, as natural as you can. Uh, don't anticipate the uh, you getting out of it faster than you need to. Because there's, there's, through this kind of pain, trust me, there's valuable lessons too um, in this situation. So, let's do the Nine of Swords in the immediate future. <clears throat> The Emperor, the King of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That's what I get with this one, with this arrangements, arrangement of energies here. Because there's pain, but there's you, fairly determined, for kind of like stepping out of that pain and being like, I'm in control. Feeling like you're losing control a lot of the times with the Wheel of Fortune over that. Um, so taking charge in that way and realizing that yes you do create your stories your scenarios uh that doesn't mean pushing against energies that means aligning with the energies that are available the available and you know kind of passing through your life basically because when you're starting to force them and this if you overdo it it could go into the place of trying to really control the situation and when you do that you're going back to the pain pit basically you know um so yeah um you are the creator of what's happening around you by collaborating with the energies available around you you know not forcing those energies to be something other than they are let's do the nine of wands in the immediate future the ace of wands the five of wands the ten of wands you're kind of going back to hmm, maybe if we would try again but then this image almost or this not not even image this feeling of what it used to be shows up immediately and that makes things pretty difficult in your desire to maybe try this again because i see you you know at times being like hmm, what if and then as soon as you do that the feeling of what it was shows up and it's kind of taking it all away so i i kind of see you a little bit in a struggle with maybe i'm gonna want to come back to that with the energies around that i don't see that happening not yet at least it feels like it's fresh though it feels like maybe it happened years ago this situation 
but when the energy comes back it feels so freaking fresh like it happened five minutes ago you know uh let's do the king of pentacles in the immediate future the eight of wands the three of cups the strength card if the situation grows into a better place where you don't feel that feeling of anxiousness of whatever that feeling of the past energies if that goes away if you grow if they grow if the both of you grow and learn and bring in a new different new different energy to the table there's a possibility for this to come back together down the line though way down um because i see growth here and from that place you two are kind of communicating from a different kind of energy you're sharing or you know sending to one another a different kind of energy than the one we've just been through here so who knows that is if the both of you still want this of course but uh let's see what the universe has to close it off Four of Swords, Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands. You, 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 uh -huh. Chill. <laughs> uh, you, now that I told you this and now that all of this, it kind of feels like, oh, okay, I want this process to be done and I want to get there in that communication phase where everything's going to be fine and everything. Chill. There's the uh, anxiousness of it all, and you're missing important lessons here by doing that. You're not even paying attention to what you're supposed to learn here, you know, if you're anticipating that moment in time. Um, and these lessons are, you know, they're here, they're gonna be gone, but they're gonna keep on coming back. And how many times do you wanna go through this, really? Probably with different people, same situations. Because at some point, you're going to have to address these. You can't keep on anticipating the fairy tale land where the two of you can make this work, you know. Um, it's nice. I like La La Land just like anybody else, even more at times. But present. Why is that a theme for fire signs today? I don't know. Because um, you keep on going. Keep on going into the anticipation of what could be. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.